Hey guys, it's Ross going on the Space Coach. Today we're going to have a look at this. p and Cruisers celebrating 175 years of heritage. And it's by Sharon Poole and Andre Sassoli, Andrew Sassoli Walker. Let me just see the back. So what do we have? Images here. What ship is that? The Victoria, I think. And there is a very early one. Possibly the first one. Now, let me see which one that is. The William Fawcett. 1835. 1835 to 1840. Come on here. Which one is that? The Hindustan. Then this is a lovely image. It doesn't specify what liner that is, though. Going through the Suez Canal, so obviously you see the camels as well. And then we have some more in here. That's a very long-looking ship. So that is the Britannia, uh, 1887 to 88. One of the jubilee ships that were built in that year here we see the victoria so the images here now this looks like an image we saw in the lost liners uh, book uh, recently uh, i'm sure it is Uh, uh, this is the Kaiser J. Hind. That's a nice image of the birds there. Some more. The Starthaven, I think that is. is Starthaven? Yeah. You know the White Sisters. So liners to cruise ships, and there's the Chusan again, in service that we saw in the Southampton liners. And there is the Orsova, which you also saw in the Southampton liners. Uh, which one is this? That's a cutaway of the Canberra. Again, from Southampton Liners, we saw that. This will be the interior. There is the Oriana, the first one. It'll be a deck plan. Uh, Canberra again. There you see there a poster for it. That's the Canberra in the Falklands looking in very poor condition. It's all those rust streaks. Uh, and it mentions how it was never hit it is almost a miracle. And then you see some of it has been converted for helicopters to land, gunnery positions, all that sort of thing. That'll be her when she returned to Southampton at the end of the Falklands War. And I do remember that, in fact, huge crowds at the docks welcoming them all back. And just a few more little bits here. More of the camera towards the end of her career in the, I think it was the, the late 80s, early 90s. Some of the, 
and from the Oriana, the pool and some of the interiors. Aurora. This is one of the ships at the dock. This is the Aurora again. I think this is from the Artemis, I think it says. Right. Is the Aurora? That's <laughs> a very narrow passageway, or maybe I don't know. Perhaps it's docked permanently now. It's entering the locks of the Panama Canal. Um, there is the Aurora. The, it's Spitsbergen, which is one of the most northerly islands um, near the Arctic Circle. I believe it's Norwegian territory. Uh, some interior and deck of the Oceana. Some more stuff here. Oh, what ship is that? Azura. It's not all to Azura. See at the back how many decks there are in the front of it there. In comparison to the old um, ocean liners, it's huge. They're all huge. This is the Oasis. The most recent one to go into service soon is the Queen Anne, which I've seen one, two videos on, and it's massive. This is the Adania. Oh, just passing the needles. Which ship is that? That Adania again. Posts on some ships there. Very nice post of that. Southampton via the world. Let me see some nice books about the various ships there. Here he is. This is the Ventura. Uh, when I was in New York in 2017, when I was doing my three week stint out there, we saw some, I think there's Norwegian cruisers, ships coming out of New York Harbour, and it's huge they were. Oceana follows Arcadia. Where is that? Out of Southampton water. There's the Strathmore. And what's that one? It's Canberra again. And some menus. Interiors, dining room, <laughs> the kitchens with all of the lovely meals that they make. That's a nice looking carrot cake down at the bottom. With a little bit of raspberry coulis, I think. There's more of the meals. It must be like the buffet, I guess. And there is the Aurora. That'll be in a fjord somewhere. <laughs> Posters and stuff. Let's see 
Oriana in the Suez Canal. This will be docked somewhere else. Looks like Italy or Norway or somewhere. Norway. Also photogenic. I mean, a lot of places like Venice are really struggling with these massive ships and they're starting to ban them or limit them, certainly. <laughs> Speaking of, there it is in Venice. That's uh, St. Mark's. Which one is that again? That's the Azura. Let's see. Some of the activities on board. It's about it. It's just about the officers. Medicine. Well, that's interesting. Let's see what is that. Uh, there was an emergency on board, um, and that is a short Sunderland. That plane uh, was dispatched to take them ashore. I guess. Let me see. That's the interiors again. One of the crew members, and this is about it. <laughs> Classic image, an ancient image from 1907. Clara Bell, she is, uh, who was famous in the day, bound for Australia. And is that it? Pretty much. That was, I don't know which one it would be called, um, due to enter service in 2015, so that's in service now. And I think that, yes, that is it. So yes, 175 years of P&O cruises. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion for what topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.